In this code.org tutorial, we are going to be using nested loops, so a loop inside of another loop, repeat inside of a repeat. It makes code shorter, more efficient, and better. Let's begin. This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. This is going to be great. Help the bee get all the nectar. Okay, so I have one block in my workspace and I can use five. Looks like I'll need to move forward and I'll need to get some nectar. Nope, I'll have to move forward twice first and then there's a flower, so then I get nectar. Then I'll move forward again, I think, and then get nectar. Now I have a problem. I've used too many blocks, but this should work. Forward, forward, nectar, nectar. Yep. However, try again. Let's do it the right way. Now with programming, you'll notice move forward, get nectar, move forward, get nectar. I'm repeating myself. There's never a need. Instead of to say the same thing twice, joop, I can use this block. Anything in this pink mouth thing will automatically repeat. I just put a two because I want to repeat all this stuff two times. So it will move forward. Now it hits my pink mouth thing and says, okay, I got to move forward. I got to get nectar. It hits the bottom and says, oh yeah, one more time. Move forward again, get nectar. Now I did it within five blocks. Onward. This is going to be great. Okay. Ooh, oh, a square. But a square is this thing on each side. So let's keep that in mind. Similar idea here, it looks like. I move forward twice and I get the nectar. And this is what I already did, right? I move forward. Keep in mind, we have 15 blocks and I get nectar. Then what do I want to do? Looks like turn right. I often just start throwing stuff down to get a good idea of what I need. Move forward twice, get nectar, move forward, get nectar. And let's see where that puts me. Okay, so that's looking good. Now, what would I do? I would turn right again, I think, and then move forward twice. And wait a minute. Boom. Forward, forward, nectar, forward, get nectar, turn right. I'm repeating myself. And how many sides are here? Well, there's four sides to a square. What if I get rid of this? Because again, I started repeating myself and try a four here. Joop and joop. There's even another way you could do a loop inside of a loop, but let's see if this works. Boom, and a video, onward. Look closely at this nested loops below. So that means a loop and a loop, right? This pink thing and this pink thing that's nested. What will happen when you click run? The bee will move forward and get nectar only one time. The bee will get only two units. The bee will get all of it, I don't know. Keep in mind, as a teacher, I do know, when you select one of these and hit run, your answer is submitted to your teacher. So let's think about this first. So when I click run, what happens three times? I know the bee is going to move once and then what? Repeat two times. Okay, so the bee moves once and then two times I move forward. Then I get nectar, hit the bottom, zoop, move forward, get nectar. So first off, I move forward, plop, hit this thing, repeat two times, move forward, plop, get nectar, get that nectar, hit the bottom of this, zoop. I got to repeat that one more time and I'm right here. So I would move forward, plop, get that nectar, hit the bottom. I've now run this inner pink mouth, this nested loop pink thing twice. So I can go beneath it. I'm done with it. And I would turn right, hit the bottom of this, zoop, go back up to the top and move forward two times over. It looks like I'd get all the nectar. Awesome. Onward. All right. This time, help the bee collect all the nectar using as few blocks as possible. Got one on my screen. We're only supposed to use six. Holy mackerel. All right. Well, uh, this is a hint. It says I can use two repeat blocks. Let me just look at what I would do if I was just getting started on this. I would say move forward. I'm going to ignore the block rule and just see what it would look like to do all of this. Oftentimes, it is easy to see patterns if you just start doing. And you can always be wrong at first. That's the great thing about code is debugging. Let's see if I mess something up. And right there, I hit a wall. So looks like I would need to turn right. Move forward. Let's try that. OK. So then I turn right. Then I'm going to move forward, get nectar, move forward, get nectar, move forward, get nectar turn right. Wait a minute here. I'm repeating myself. And if you're repeating yourself in code, you're working too hard. So I don't need to do this four times in a row for each side, right? I can put a four here and now I will cover all the sides of my square. Boom. But this is still too much code. Well, wait a minute though. Look at this. Inside of my loop, I'm repeating myself. Three times in a row, I say move forward, get nectar. Well, we know we can use inner loops or nested loops. And so now, for four times, I will move forward and get a nectar. Then four times in a row. So I'm going to do 
everything in this pink mouth thing four times. The first thing I do is move forward, get nectar. I can reset it. First thing I do, move forward. Yep, get the nectar. Yep. Now it's going to hit the bottom of this and say two more times because I said three times. Shoop. And I'll move forward again and I'll get the nectar one more time of the inner nested loop. Move forward, get nectar. Now I'm going to turn right, hit the bottom of the outer loop. And now three more times for each side, I go through all of it. Awesome. Onward. All right. Get the zombies to the sunflower using his little blocks. We have one. We can use up to five. I'm going to throw stuff down just to get a bearing on what I'm doing. One, two, three, I think. Turn left, I think. One, three, I think. Turn left. And again, I'm way over on blocks, but we're just testing. Best part of code, you can be wrong. Okay, so we're almost there now. But look what I'm doing. Zoop. And what was I about to do? I was about to put another move forward. And would it matter if we turn left at the end here? It wouldn't. So, whoop, whoop. Don't do that. Instead of doing that, I can put all of this in a repeat block and do all of this three times. I am still over because you can put repeats inside of a repeat. I'm already repeating myself three times here. So don't do that. Look up. Goodbye. Instead, I can put a three here, put my move forward right there. Boom. And now I will automatically first three times over. So all three sides, I've got to move forward, hit the bottom of this inner one. Go back to the top for second time. Hit the bottom of the pink inner one. Go back to the top for the third time. I've now done three times. I've fulfilled it, so I'll turn left. Hit the bottom of the outer one. Zoop, back to the top. Three more times forward. And we did it. Onward. Oops. All right. Get the zombie to the sunflower using as little blocks as possible. We know the drill here. So I'm going to do what I always do. Let's test stuff out. Right. One, two, three. I'm using too many blocks. I know it's better to try. My students are always encouraged to try and be wrong. That's what makes coding fun. You figure it out. And then, okay, so I'm one shy of that flower. Boom. So this is going to be my answer. That's 12 blocks. What if I turned right at the end? It wouldn't really matter. Well, look. Boom, boom, boom. I'm repeating myself. Don't do it. Be lazy. You're allowed. It's encouraged. It's code. So now, five times. No, there's only three sides. Yikes. Okay, but now I'm still one over. And that's because one, two, three, I again don't need to repeat myself. I can tell it to do it, move three times forward, and then turn right. So I'll do everything in this three times. What is that? I'll move forward three times, then I'll turn right. Once this is fulfilled, hit the bottom. And it's as we've been doing. So if this is confusing you, make sure to go back to these other two puzzles I just talked about. All of this is getting looped through. Onward. All right, get the zombie to the sunflower using the fewest blocks possible. This is pretty similar, I think. One out of eight blocks. Okay, I'm going to start by throwing down code. Let's see if I die. Okay, so I am getting there, but obviously I'm using way too many blocks. What I would have done here now, though, is move forward two more times. First thing I want to do is look for repeated code. Hmm, well, I'm moving forward three times here. Then I turn left, then I move forward three times, then I turn right. Then I move forward three times and left, and it wouldn't matter if I turn right at the end. So that's repeating. Instead of doing all that, I'll just put a two here, boom, and I need to do all of this twice. Okay, now I once again, I'm over, I should look for repeated code. Like we've been doing all along, I don't need to write move forward three times. Inside of this, I could do a repeat of a three. So move forward three times, turn left, then what? Well, then I am going to want to move forward three times and turn right. Let's try. And so now, because what happens after a loop runs is the code beneath it runs. So two times over, I'll move forward three times. So this starts. It says I got to do all of this twice. Okay, first three times over, move forward. I moved forward once, zoop back around twice, zoop back around three times. I've now done this mini mouth three times, and it will drop below and turn me left. I then hit this repeat once, zoop twice, zoop three times, then drop below and turn right, hit the outer loop, zoop back to the top, and I keep going through it all over till I get to thin. Onward. All right, get the zombie to the sunflower using only the available blocks. Ooh, this one looks a bit more complicated, and I don't want to die. So move forward a lot. I'm not going to write all that out because that's a lot. I'm going to guess a five. And then what? Well, then it looks like I'll want to turn to the right and then move forward I, I don't, five again. 
Let's see what this does. Oop. And then I guess turn left, forward five. Okay, now what? Turn left, I think forward three. Then what? Turn left, forward three again? Maybe two. Forward left. Up, oh, almost there. So this needed to be a three. Well, wait a minute. Notice what I am doing here. Zoop. Look what's going on. Repeating myself. Repeating myself. So instead of doing all that, I do that three times. So let me just put a three here and slap all of that in there. Now I'll do all of that three times and I don't have to write it. Now look at this. I could turn left at the end of this, right? It won't matter once I'm at the sunflower if I turn left. So instead of doing that, instead of repeating myself, do that two times. It will run this loop with this loop inside, then this loop with that loop. And once it falls out, once it's done with these loops, it just runs the code below. Sunflower food! Onward. Challenge. I love them. Let's go. Figure out a way to get all the nectar using only the blocks available. Oh my goodness. So, let's see. I'm going to go move forward. Get nectar. Now, how much nectar? It looks like the nectar's always 12. So, what if I do this? Okay, that only gets me one nectar, though. There's three in each row. So, for each row, I want to move forward, and then I want to gather nectar. Each cell, I want to move forward, and I want to gather nectar three times. After that, right, so three times over, I'm going to move forward, get 12 nectar, hit the bottom. That will get me done with this one. Go back to the top, move forward, zoop. Grab 12 nectar, that empties that out, hit the bottom, back to the top, move forward, 12 nectar, zoop, 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 hit the bottom, and then what? Well, I run it three times, it looks like I'll want to turn to the right. Then what am I going to want to do? Well, it looks like I'd want to do the same thing, wouldn't I? Let's try. And it's a square, so I'm repeating myself, and I will be a lot of times, four times, right? Notice this is identical. So instead of doing that, why don't I just do this? Boom, boom. That should be all four sides. Let's see. Onward. Collect all of the nectar from each flower and make honey at honeycomb. Okay, so let me see. Only eight blocks I'm supposed to use. I'll move forward. How many times do I need to get nectar? Four times. So I'm not crazy. I'll use a repeat. I need four nectar. Boom. And boom. Okay, then what will I do? And I'm going to move forward. I'm going to use a repeat. I'm going to get nectar four times. Then what? Okay, I'm seeing a pattern here. Move forward four times over. Get nectar. Well, wait a minute here. That is three times in a row. And how many times? It looks like we're going to do this five times. And aren't I repeating myself? Let me see. Boom and boom. Right? And I was about to start again. Yeah, I'm doing this five times. So why do it like that? And instead, boom and boom and boom. And then what? Well, I bet I'll have to move forward. Right? Once I get all five of these, move forward four times, get nectar. What am I going to have to do? Move forward. And I think make honey. Four times over, I need to fill this up. So make honey. This is outside the loop because this only happens once. Let's see. Move forward. I four times over, I get nectar. I repeat all of those steps five times. I move forward once. It's outside of a loop. And then four times over, I make honey. Onward. Make all the honey. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, this might be, let's see. Move forward. Make honey. And we only should use six blocks. Forward, make honey. Forward, make honey. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then what? Well, then I turn and one, two, three. Oh my goodness. So let's not do it that way. Let's say move forward, make honey. Go away, go away. How many times? Five times. Boom. And that will get me one side. Then what do I do? Well, when I'm here, I turn left. And then what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to do this again, right? I would move forward and make nectar five more times. But that would be repeating myself or make honey five more times. And would it matter if I turned left at the end? No. So instead of using all of these blocks, instead of repeating myself like that, why don't I just do a two here and say, hey, run all of this two times in a row.
Boom. Ooh, okay. Look closely at the code below. How much honey will the bee make when you click run? Keep in mind, your teacher, when you click an answer and hit run, you can't change it. Your teacher gets the answer. If I'm your teacher, I do. All right. So when run, this is all going to happen twice. What do I do? Two times, I'm going to move forward. Check. I'll move forward and I'll get honey. Hit the bottom. Zoop. Got to do it one more time. Move forward and I'll make honey. Hit up, oh, but I already did it two times. So I'll turn to the left this way. And then what? Okay. Repeat two times. Move forward. Zoop make honey okay hit the bottom zoop what do i do move forward make honey okay then what do i do i turn right so far so good then we hit the bottom of this and i have to repeat this one more time so what do i do move forward twice i make honey each time and then i turn left then what do i do i move forward twice and make honey well, wait a minute i don't go to the end because this is only two times so i end here because this whole thing only has me repeat all this twice let's see they had the right stuff. They needed to do one more outer loop. Boom. Awesome. Onward.